20. Training from a break lately. He could be the one to beat. Fix handicap hurdle, a full field of 20, over two miles and nine flights, and it is Moonrise Beauty up vying for the lead with Slim Marvel attended by Clonbury Bridge. On the inside is Harley Street as they take their first flight. Right up with the leaders is Golden Sandbanks. As they turn at the top, it's Moonrise Beauty pressing ahead of Harley Street. Clonbury Bridge, Golden Sandbanks, son of Hypnos next, followed by Slim Marvel. Tracking the leaders is Malbay Madness on the inside and then Ernie from Nerny, followed downhill by Aussie Warrior and then Vicio, tell us this, the Banger Doyle, Burden Song next, an action motion, Explosive Boy and Flicker of Hope is on a hat trick as they come down towards the second flight. In the lead is Moonrise Beauty, followed by Clonbury Bridge. Running the rail is Harley Street with in between horses Son of Hypnos and then Golden Sandbanks and Slim Marvel, Malbay Madness next and Ernie from Nerny, Aussie Warrior tell us this on the outside of Visio and then Bud and Song and Flicker of Hope and Action Motion, the Banger Doyle Explosive Boy, Tankerstown Diva followed by Ahead of the Posse, last year's second place, two behind, Reflectionist and Killing Her Last. Coming up to pass the winning post, having jumped three, the leader is Moonrise Beauty, gone on by two and a half to three lengths from Clonbury Bridge. Just third is Harley Street from Son of Hypnos. On this side is Golden Sandbanks, followed by Malbay Madness, Slim Marvel, Ernie from Nerny, tell us this, Aussie Warrior, Flicker of Hope next, and Burn Song, Vicio, Action Motion, the Banger Doyle, Explosive Boy, Tankerstown Diva, ahead of the posse, killing or Lass, and knocked back to the rear reflections. Heading for the halfway stage, and it's Moonrise Beauty and Sean Cleary Farrell with a reduced advantage of a length over Clonbury Bridge and Danny Gilligan. Just third is Harley Street, Mark Walsh on the inside of Son of Hypnos and James Smith, followed inside halfway by Golden Sandbanks, half colours on the inside of Mulbay Madness, and then Slim Marvel tell us this, edging closer is Flicker of Hope on the outside. Jumping the next flight, and it's Moonrise Beauty continuing up top. Retains a lead of a length over Clonbury Bridge. Disputing third, Harley Street and Son of Hypnos being followed by Golden Sandbanks. Malbay Madness, tell us this, jump closer. Then Aussie Warrior and Slim Marvel is next. As they return to the point at which they started, six furlongs to go. Moonrise Beauty, Clonbury Bridge, one and two, followed by Harley Street. Golden Sandbanks, Son of Hypnos next. Continuing to close is Flicker of Hope on the outside. As they go to the flight, which was their first, is three out this time. Moonrise Beauty, untidy, joined in the air by Clonbury Bridge, and then Golden Sandbanks. They five furlongs to go. Harley Street next on the inside of Son of Hypnos, followed by Malbay Madness, Aussie Warrior screaming into contention. Then tell us this. Now stoked along on the outside is Flicker of Hope, followed by Ernie from Nerny and Tankerstown Diva. Action motion, followed then by Bud and Song. Fading out of it is Slim Marvel. Many in with chances with just over three furlongs to go. They're heading for the second last flight and it is Clonbury Bridge joining issue with a ridden along Moonrise Beauty. In between them is Son of Hypnos and Harley Street working out to Golden Sandbanks and arriving there is Malbay Madness followed then by Flicker of Hope the second last in the air together as the, the Banger Doyle has been badly interfered with on the approach to two out as Golden Sandbanks was also cut up in that as they run round the home turn and Son of Hypnos leads on the turn for the final flight followed by Clonbury Bridge then Malbay Madness Moonrise Beauty Vicio is staying on from outside rear division at Son of Hypnos gone clear with the easy fix handicap hurdle it is Son of Hypnos and James Smith way out in front of Clonbury Bridge Vicio next followed by Harley Street it's one way traffic in the easy fix handicap as Son of Hypnos one going away from Clonbury Bridge, followed in by Vicio, Hardy Street, and Tankerstown Diva next. Well, it looked competitive beforehand. In the end, we've had a really easy winner here in the shape of Son of Hypnos, blinkered for the first time today. And he's power clear under James Smith riding here for his uncle Kevin. But that race was overshadowed by a horrible incident, two out where. Something went amiss with Golden Sandbanks, who hired a company with Kevin Sexton on the run to the obstacle, and poor old the Banger Doyle was sent cartwheeling coming along behind. I think that's the Banger Doyle galloping away there in the background. Hopefully, horses and riders are okay, but at least uh, the business ends 
we had, a, as I say, a really authoritative winner here and putting the headgear on today has really sparked this fellow up, it would appear. It certainly has, Gary. Look, the last time we seen him, a winner over hurls, was actually at this meeting back in September of 2021. Um, apologies, at the September meeting. Just in shot there, we can see, obviously, um, the riders that were involved in that incident, Kevin Sexton and uh, Dara O'Keefe as well. But um, we hope all that are involved in that are, are OK. But this horse with James Smith on board, will be a massive success for the Smith family we've obviously seen Matthew Smith with plenty of success here before and it's Kevin Smith who's getting involved today with Matthew's son on board James Smith who takes um, a valuable claim off this horse's back um, he was always nice and prominent um, throughout the race Gary and he always travelled as if he was had loads left and you can see he's pulled well clear of his rivals it was a bit of a demolition job in the end. Cumbria Bridge has run really well in the race, keeping up Philip Dempsey's good record in it once again. Vicio, well, she really isn't as good over hurls as she is on the flat these days, has put in a solid effort. And Harley Street, who got caught in a bit of a pocket going to two out, stayed on again in the closing stages to be fourth, I think. Ten lengths to winning margin for Son of Hypnos, who has strayed his rivals here. Um, fine moment for a young man on board as well. Had a spell with John Joe O'Neill across channel. I don't know who's the plan for him to go back there, Lisa, but he's certainly come over to come home to Ireland for a few months during the summer at least. Uh, yeah, and he's certainly made good use of the time that he's been here so far and I'm not I'm not obviously sure if he intends to go back to the UK but just as we pick him up here you can see Harley Street in the back a shot just runs into a couple of dead ends there. Malby Madness obviously when uh, push came to shove there wasn't a whole pile left he was very keen throughout the race Gary for Dunham Myler who always had him with a bit of cover as well but maybe just ran with a choke out a little bit Harley Street definitely ran home well and Vicio obviously had been dropped down the handicap a little bit and uh, uh, Philip Dempsey's horse also as well Clonbury Bridge that finished in second Danny Gilligan on board has uh, run extremely well but this horse obviously James Smith was on board when he won a handicap chase on him back in April as well he knows him well but the first, cl- first time blinkers have really worked the oracle very much so there he is and he is entered on the flat later on in the week he is in on Thursday I think it is I imagine Connections would have liked to have him in over hurdles again given the way he's won because he's going to get some hike there and being led back in by is that Megan D'Souza Warren it is indeed yeah it is indeed Megan herself who rides plenty on the flat also as well but uh, plenty a good round of applause for the winner coming back in and plenty of smiles all round Uh, obviously 